Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Happy Tuesday one and all. Now unlike Easter, Jesus has not risen for us. Joe is nowhere to be seen. But we do have the wonderful Dom sitting in for us today. How are you, Dom? Very well, very well. Normally working for a restaurant. Yes, I've been fired. What happened? Is that a motorbike? And something happened upstairs, a loud noise. But what, what, Why are you fired? Um, well, because I disclosed lots of secrets about the companies oh, I've been working for, oh, which yeah. is usually not a good thing to do. I'm surprised podcast. I actually haven't got libeled. If the show was bigger, probably would have. You'll be sad. That's not a, a, yeah, having yeah. a go at you. That sounds but. like you're slagging us off with us. Ethan James is with us as well. Oh, hello. Oh, wonderful. We've got lots to get through. We'll do the top three. We'll also do Ethan's film review. We'll do Breaking Joe's. And we'll also have a bit of Joe. That's good. Which sounds a bit wild. We did say we'll be like chopping Joe about a bit. We're trying to get as much out. Like, do you, have you ever squeezed an orange? No, I don't like the rind, the pith. Oof. It is good that you get Joe in because I don't want to get blasted in the comments or whatever I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know what? The thing is, we never. We, the thing with people who watch the videos, they never really say anything too bad about uh, maybe a, a, a special that I had an idea for and that went down the pan. Okay, good because uh, I'm I'm quite close to the edge, and if I get any like, who's this bald, big-headed yeah. weirdo? I'll probably hang myself. Although if you did have to, <laughs> that's just a warning. Yeah, cheers to the warning. But if you did have to play a mythical character, like say, forget the Easter Bunny because he's now dead. Uh, but um, if you did have to play a mythical character, who would you like to play? King, King Richard the Third. Nice, because he was deformed also. He was deformed. Yeah, he had like scoliosis. I'm not saying people who have scoliosis are deformed. Oh no, 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 no that's no. exactly what you said. Well, he was like, <laughs> okay, well, take it as you want. That I mean. We will have to take it as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I what said. is scoliosis? Some kind of weird thing of the spine. But I have a weird thing of the neck, so we're kind of brothers in arms. I get reminders of your weird thing of the neck. A fused vertebrae. But most people with it are really pitiable. What do you mean? Like you look at them and go. For the audio listeners, what face are you pulling there? Like a. I shouldn't say anything, but I'm saying lots of things in my mind, Aww, you know what I mean? And that's coming bad. from me. I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got lots to get into, but I want to start off by letting everyone know about my Saturday surprise. Have you ever had a Saturday surprise? <laughs> I can't say I have. I've had Saturday disappointment. Yeah, I hope you bet you have. Yeah. Ethan, have you ever had a Saturday surprise? Oh, yes. Well, especially this week. Oh, are you going to tell the, that story as well? Oh, oh, no, no. No, no, no. Go on, Joe. Tell us about your Saturday. I, uh, I had something in the diary with Becky because it was on our anniversary. So, it, are you married? No, 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 no. Okay. Engaged, engaged, engaged. Can you have an anniversary if you're engaged? Yeah. yeah never, how long has the relationship been? Sorry, I'm interrupting. Seven years, seven I'll, years. I'll, I'll let you off. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, what was going to, what? If it's a two... Well, it was like been... a month. You can't have an Blimey, anniversary, that'd be, can you? Have you ever fallen in love in a month? I've never been in love. I really? actually don't think I'm capable of love. And that's not a joke. I suppose it's not funny if it even was a joke. No, no. Don't, you don't would you love anything? No, no, not anymore. I kind of, I'm walking around before going, you know, have you, have you ever walk around and just the colour's not there, the colour's faded, and the faces you see in the street are just like glazed porcelain. And you can't, you can't grasp onto anything anymore. Yeah. No, I've never been. What caused that? We'll wait for it. Yeah, I don't know, probably chronic like depression. Was that Korean food? Oh, probably, but it's more likely I'm very mentally ill. Yeah. I mean, how was it? What did you do? We're five week? minutes in. Yeah. Got oh, oh, so, oh, I'll get um, up the mood. Yeah. King, no, King no, no, Richard no. III. The, people, are, people are driving to work, yeah. Dom, on a Tuesday oh morning. Oh, my God. part of their routine. He's <laughs> 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 Dom. <laughs> Good <laughs> morning. Text the Easter Bunny, see if he's still about. <laughs> right. I went on a spa day. Now, have we, and not the, not the shop, Becky surprised me with a trip to a spa. Have we ever been. And I know Ethan has because we did a special, uh, we did a, a, a big a bit on it. Have you ever been to a spa, Dom? No, but I'd love to. Where was it, though? It Weirdly, it was in Rochdale, so I was okay. a bit worried by that, first of all. brothels in Rochdale, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of weird things in Rochdale. It was outside of Rochdale. Okay. But Becky was keeping the surprise for me, literally to the point until we got there. So when she put in a Rochdale postcode, I was panicking. <laughs> 
She goes, just follow the route and we'll get there. Have you ever had a massage or anything? No, but I was talking to someone yesterday. I was thinking, I don't want to go to one of these flimsy ones with these tiny petite women. I've got nothing against tiny petite women. <laughs> but I, I want to go to one of those hardcore, like, this sounds quite homoerotic, but going to one of those big, like, Turkish... Bath ones, those yeah. Those massive oh. men that will hurt you. Yes. I don't think it was a waste of money otherwise, but was yours a waste of money? Do you know what? We get there to this place... You, you sign in straight away and it's one of these like voucher deals where you've got like, <laughs> you've got like a little light lunch included. Oh yeah. Everyone's there with like, it's like mum and daughters and like, you know, there's couples as well and we're, all the lads are giving each other the, oh, what are we doing here? And, and you know, but I got into it straight away. Oh. You got given a dressing gown and a towel on arrival with slippers. Do you have to get naked at any point? No, this is the worry. So I was like, so I put my, uh, first of all, we'll get into the uh, change rooms, getting ready. And we did this, it's half spa, half people in there who have got a uh, membership to the gym that's connected. Okay. So you sort of have this really nice, ooh, we're going to a spa day. And you sort of sat with like, Sweaty men who oh, just did a big workout. Lovely. Sounds like the kind of place that I wanted to go to. Yes, you could do. I'll bring you next time. Yeah. Uh, I got my. Uh, I got changed, and obviously I got fully nude at one point. Just put my. Uh, um, what are they called? Swimming what, shorts. Do you oh, enjoy getting shorts. nude? Do you know what? If you if you're in a change room, would you get nude? No. At, would you go into a cubicle? Or would you just do it? Do you remember as a child going into swimming baths well, with we your dad or parents and your dad just getting naked? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, as it got burned into my brain. Burned? Why? It's just because one of those things, We used to like laugh at the old men in the showers as well who were also naked. It was you used a, to laugh at them? Was, well, not so they knew, but we knew. It was kind of phenomena. And we always had a teacher that would look like lean on the door and like look in. Oh. Well, your dad, if your dad's there. still there? <laughs> no, he wasn't the teacher. <laughs> So, if you were getting changed in a dressing room no. situation, would you go into a cubicle or just do cubicle. it? Cubicle, I'm not, no. There's I no wouldn't way. do it. I was once uh, bullied as a child for this. What happened? It was actually quite awful. I don't know if I want to talk about it, but I will. So, what happened was I went to, um, I think it was Bladen Baths, which is near us when, when I was a kid, and there was a party there. I don't think it was my party. Like it a was stag do? No, not a stag do. No, we're all children. And um, when I when I got into the bit where we were changing, one of the lads called Nathan. How old um, were you, sorry? Uh, primary school, I'm going to say nine. Mm, prime trauma age, that. Yeah, it yeah. was. And what happened was I went in and they locked me out of like the main bit where everyone was getting changed. So I was a bit like, ooh, that's not great. And then they opened the door, and then there was Nathan swinging his cock around, teasing us, saying I wasn't getting in. And I felt quite what, horrible. What, what, he wasn't what, getting what, Nathan's, it. Nathan's butt naked by the door. Swinging his swinging cock around. Swinging his cock around. Saying, I'm, I'm sorry, not... When I was nine, I couldn't swing my cock around. Did he say you're not getting it, as in referencing his genitals, oh, or sorry, you're not getting in? Referencing the, the, the big cubicle room, so I was locked it was, outside. It was like a weird wet. Lord of the Rings. It was like, yeah. you shall not pass. But yes. <laughs> and like your old willy. <laughs> And God, then what? Jeez, what's going on? Well, I'll tell it's you like what, a mental Tom, health awareness thing. This me, 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 me. Mum sorted him right out. Called him a little twat. Made him come over to the car where I was upset. Banged on the door. And made him apologise. So well, well done, fine. your mother. That's, yeah. that's a good thing to do. Sorry, Joe. Do you want to consider? Yeah, anyway, let's move yeah, on from that. Yeah. I, uh, I'm in the cubicle, and I, I do get changed just out in the open. But I'm quick, so I don't like, I don't like flaunt it. Do you it's have not a, much too flaunt? Do you no. have a large... No, not really. Yeah, that's confidence. It's kind of like a little fucking... That's confidence. Though, what's it like? It? Can you see it? Yeah. No, like, mirror. I mean, looking downwards. That's He's uh, such a cheeky... No, I'm not. Funny. Can you? You have two large it. men Who here. the fuck do you think I am? You're a che I'm coming for you this Can you, Tom? Me and Ethan had an argument, didn't we, before, the, uh, uh, before recording it, and he's coming for me, Tom. <laughs> that what might be one nil for you, Ethan, but I'm, I'll get you back by the end of this. Well, you it's because Joe's argument. not no, here. Anyway, it's like a pity argument. Joe's not here, but food. the, the anyway, wall's been broken. I, I sit, I get nude, right, yeah. and I change quickly into a swimming shorts, and then I'm sat down, get my robe on, and honest to God, a split second later, a female member of staff just walks through you flash the me. male change rooms oh. with a mop bucket <laughs> and leaves, right? 
I don't know if that was a mop bucket. I think she just saw you, mate. No, and she leaves, right? The old guy in there who's just finished his work out looked at me and went, I wish she'd knock. This must be a regular thing. <gasps> Do you think she's trying to see Willie? Yeah. Yes. It was bizarre. Anyway, so I went to get a spa. Were you uh, the only person in there? No, me and the old dude. I've not made this old dude up, by the way. It's not like fight club. Did she go... Or did she... Well, no, she went. So imagine a locker. Mm. There's one door leading to the pool. She walked through the one door where anyone could have the knobs out and just didn't even say anything. This podcast is brought to you by sons.co.uk. Yes, Sloppy Joe's 33 to get 33% off their fabulous products. Mm. But Joe, I mean, what kind of what kind of world are uh, sons.co.uk in? Well, sons are in the I, I hate to say it, a world that you find yourself embroiled in. A world of hair loss and hair loss prevention. Unfortunately, I do find myself in this world, but fortunately, I find myself finding sons.co.uk. And the thing is, yes, obviously, at the moment, you're the one who's more sort of in potential uh, sort of dire need of, of sons.co.uk. But I tell you what, my hairline ain't what it used to be. And I think a very high percentage of men will experience some sort of hair loss before the age of 35. So it's not just about getting mm. in when it's too late. It's about preventing and sons.co.uk are here to do that. Go and check out their products. They are clinically proven treatments that have got you covered. They include sprays and tablets, shampoos and vitamins. There's loads on the website and you can get it being paid per month so try our code sloppy joe's 33 sons.co.uk link in the description the jacuzzi was great steam rooms are all right do you like any of them like a sauna would you go to sauna jacuzzi's too hot sauna's too hot i like the cold i like i like being able to put more things on than take more things off. Oh, yeah. But would you just go for a swim in like a, a pool? No, because you know when you're a kid, I've got lots of childhood trauma, haven't I? You know when you're a kid and there's a, a, a hairy man that comes in and he's got hair on his back and hair on his legs and he's hair com coming out, the swimming baths when you're a child, and he's got hair coming out of his groin po poking out and you, everyone looks at him and you think, fuck, that man's a freak. That's me. <laughs> I don't want to be that man for children. I don't want to be that man. I haven't oh, been to a swimming bath since. I haven't been to a swimming bath since I was eleven years old. Wow, oh. that's specific, isn't it? Yeah, I've lived a very isolated life. Anyway, so this massage. <laughs> right, I got a massage, by the way. I got by who? Uh, uh, back and uh, back in um, by Diane. She was called back and shoulder massage. So let me talk you through it and I'll ask you questions along the way. I went into this really peaceful room where they've got like nice music on in the background. Mm. You know, sort of like little like piano music which would sort of chill you right out. Diane and me are in this room. <laughs> we, Diane. We, we've one bed in the middle of it. Becky's gone to the room next. To oh, me. we don't share a room? No, we don't share. You and didn't. she says, oh. lie, lie, lie down, get yourself Get yourself ready. Here's your towel. My question to you is... Get yourself... What would you have done? This is all the information I was given. What would you have done with that sentence? Get yourself ready. Here's your towel. From films and media I've watched... You, media. You become naked and go on your stomach, don't you? And then naked. you put the towel over your bum. Mm. But why would you have to be naked, though? Well, this is a question for Ethan as well. I've never... I've never been um, <laughs> nude in this scenario. Mm -hmm. I've... What they do is with, like, your pants and that, like, they might pull it down a bit so your bum your pops out. Your ass cracks out. out. Your mm. ass cracks out. So, essentially, I decided not to get nude because I was like, I'd rather she came back into the room. I went, oh... Mr. McGrath, I don't know, she didn't know my second name. She go, oh, Joe, you gotta take your pants off. So I decided to go, like you two would have done, get on the bed and just lie there uh, and put the towel over myself. She's taking a, a little while to come back in and, and I'm not one to sit still for long. No. So my head's sort of like looking at the floor and I'm thinking, well, I don't know where the fuck she is. And then I sort of wander and see a, a remote <laughs> that has a minus and a plus sign on it. Oh, fuck. Right, so I'll t take it off and I'll realise straight away it's the bed so the minus moves me down the plus moves me up what kind of 
institution is this? Well, I think I think I wasn't supposed to touch it at all. Like it was like it was firmly locked. In something. <laughs> and I, I, I should, anyway, so I went boom. I'm like fucking about go boom, 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 like like I'm riding a horse, like pressing minus and plus as quick as I can. And then it, she t- it takes longer for Dan to come in. So I was like, right, I, I just wonder quickly how high I can go. <laughs> right, I'm rising, I'm rising. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm the time of <laughs> like that. Honestly, I'm about a metre and a half off the floor. <laughs> Diane comes in. I was like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, fucking hell. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> She's like, I'm fucking so high up off the ground. So then there's that awkward, she knows I've been fucking about. So then there's the awkward descent now. I have to lie there in my own shame. It's like a knowing, dentistry yeah. or something. I had a lovely back massage. Was she good? Oh, Did she I use am. elbows? Do you know one of the th- tricks she used, which stunned me a bit? It wasn't the elbow. Finger up the ass. That would have been great. Have you ever had the full forearm? Oh. Up your ass? Oh no! Oh, Never no. up the ass. No. Have you ever? It's actually funny you should mention, or maybe I was, no, was or- child, orchestrating yeah. the conversation to go this way. The person I stayed with in London over this last week was was propositioning to buy me a prostate massager. Oh, do you know what that is? A dildo. Essentially, yeah, but with extra steps. It's, it it, it, it <laughs> extra you, steps. As in, it does. Um, it 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 is it's made it's manufactured to stimulate the male boom g spot oh yeah wow and i said no and then we googled it and you, apparently doctors don't recommend oh. g spot massage because it milks you and it can damage your rectum what does it mean like, by milk yeah what do you mean milk well uh, uh, we googled this all, this, all, this, this, all, this all sounds like I've done it, and uh, the Googling is, uh, is a kind of smoke and mirrors. <laughs> um, no, uh, apparently you don't touch your uh, shaft, and it, it just comes over like Vesuvius. Wow. Without you doing anything. Really? It's a full do body feel, experience. Do you feel like you have an orgasm? I don't know. Uh, but apparently it's a very powerful orgasm. I mean, we'll get into this a little bit more. What's <laughs> Why are you moving like that? I'm just seeing you if you're like interested or yeah, not. Why have you got one? I wouldn't no, even she, share it if I did. No, she's very rich and she said she'd purchase me one. You're putting a spell on me then or something. I don't know <laughs> what was going on with your head movements then. I was trying to work out yeah, where yeah, you yeah, sit Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got going for a little bit. So obviously, um, you, we've got st- the, the tales of London, which will be happening throughout the weeks. Because yeah. you've been in London for a bit, haven't you? I have, yeah. But you were staying at someone's house who, for a period of time, you and them sat together Googling... Male bum massages. We do a lot of things there. Um, we used to bite each other in the nude on a bed, just for you know. Is she pleasure. a former partner? Mm, mm, in a way, but she's married to one of our other friends. You're fucking weird. What's going? <laughs> so, what's going on here? So, you. And this girl, yeah. is she still married to someone? Yes. But, but at then the same th- time, you would buy each other nude. Yeah, but he was never there. He knew about all this. No, he didn't. He used to smash the windows in the flat. Actually, maybe that's connected, now that I think about it. He used to smash the windows in the flat. There's still, like, tape over one of the windows in the bathroom where from 10 years ago. It's been a while. And whereabouts were the bites? All over. Thighs, where- neck. Toes. Really? No, but you see, I've never had a good sexual experience in my life. On my own, yes, certainly. With really? another human being, no. And that's really? genuine truth, yeah. I want, I'm, I'm trying to How garner pity off here. How old are you, though? I'm 32 years old. Oh, that's not bad, is it? But, but you never had a good sexual experience? No, anymore. either because I detest myself so much that I don't allow myself to... No, it's this! It's this, you see. You test yourself. De- detest. Detest. Oh, right. I do test myself as well on various things. I invariably fail. But I always had this concern over, you know when a female's on top of you? I had a, a real vivid perception of what I looked like when they looked at me. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, for the audio listeners, can you tell everyone what face you're doing, please? It's just a very 
disgusting no nah, gel- you know those soaps. why are you giving I'm soaps just shit t- you asked me you asked yeah, me that's description. true I did ask I did ask I did ask I would say similar to a blobfish you know those ones <laughs> that oh, fucking hell <laughs> Have you seen those ones? Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you meant when you said a blobfish. That's so tight on yourself. So I need to get back to this relationship you got with this girl. Because you... When did the first bite happen? You're more concerned about the bites than anything else. I will get onto the massage anal rubber in a minute. Um, There's a lot to get at. Well, I don't know where that came from. I think because we like... Uh, um, you know, as the priests used to do, flagellate themselves with, like, cats of nine tails when they've done something wrong. I'm a big fan of punishing myself through um, through things that uh, uh, oh, so this also w- is pleasure. So, so this wouldn't be a playful bite. This would be a bite. It would be 50-50 or 60-40. I used to go to Tesco's at midnight to get those big vats of, um, you know, those chicken and bacon pastas that were only meant for salad bars and parties, which I never yeah, knew. And I, I used to exactly. eat it at home. So my friend was like, why would you get that? I said, I, I need that to feel. <laughs> no. So you'd eat chicken and, bacon, chicken and bacon pasta to punish yourself? Yeah, yeah. Crikey. I'm very, I'm very, on, I could get on board with this. Yeah, you know when you feel full and you've got, what have I done? Yeah. I'd derive some kind of pleasure from that. Mm. Maybe I should see a therapist again. I think, I think therapy would be great sometimes. Uh, with the, uh, the biting, yeah. did you ever draw blood? No. That's the one of the key rules, I guess. No, I no, I don't want hepatitis because I don't know what she had. I don't know what I have actually. Did you ever? No, I'm. I don't want to hurt I mean, anyone. I don't. I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone. Do you have any questions about the biting before we move on, Ethan? Uh, happy to move on, Drew. Okay, so back to the anal massage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's let's speak about why that got brought up. Did she go? She likes, she's very explorative in her sexuality, I think. She kind of walks around naked. If this ever gets to her, I'm in deep, deep trouble. Sorry, no one knows as a clue it is. Oh, great. Um, she, she, she Actually, she doesn't use the internet on phones or anything, so it's, oh, it's fine. Me, yeah. um, she walks around the flat naked, but there's big, there's big glass. The curtains are always open night and day, and she lives on the third. I don't want like an eagle wow, or something. Yeah, there's lots of interpretive dance going on here. Titanic. Uh, there, <laughs> um, uh, she walks around naked and in a flat. But well, yeah, that's yeah. all right, and it's all right. Yeah, but the curtains right. are always open, and like a, across the road, which is probably five foot or something, the the university uh, of a city. Wig, wig. Uh, do their lab tests all day long. So there's hundreds of people of, of men just looking in her flat, having a nice time all day. Because she doesn't work. Do you think she's ever put someone off like their big experiment or something? I think they could have dropped a few vials. You know? <laughs> have you... Now, be honest here. Go on. Have you ever, just for a bit of fun, been buying each other whilst people are working at the University of London? So someone might have seen you nude they've seen a lot of things in that flat i used to put books against the door like large books against the door because i used to think she'd come through in the middle of the night there was no locks on the door and kill me for some kind of literary or poetic scene she'd go to prison because it was beautiful and i put used to put the books against the door so i'd know if she came in so i could defend myself in the middle of the night it's very Killing Eve, isn't it? Do you I've know what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah, not no. seen well, it. How would you defend yourself? Have you got a weapon or something? Did you have a weapon? I used to have cheesecakes by by the side of me at the night. She'd so fucking defend herself by <laughs> vanilla fucking New York cheesecake. Yeah, well, that's a distraction. You know, when people throw sand in people's eyes in movies. Oh, yeah. That wouldn't be a... That wouldn't be a... Used to be as cheesecake. I know which one I prefer. Yeah, cheesecake. Right, so, so <laughs> did you... What was the conclusion about the butt plugs? And how far did we go? Have we got, have we got any... She hasn't bought a butt plug because I need to explore other things such as uh, loving embraces and, and walks in the park before I put have a you large... ever done anything with your bum hole? No. I think we do... I, I was going to say, I think we all have. Have you? Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. It's not coming. Ethan, have you? We've talked about this before in the past. Oh, really, have you? You're new to the... I haven't watched 159 episodes, so (laughs) apologies for that. Uh, Just the ones you're on. (laughs) (laughs) Refresh. (laughs) Refresh. (laughs) Refresh. (laughs) Refresh. Um, um, I hope... I won't be refreshing this one, though. I'll be steering clear. Um, I don't want to get garroted in the comments. Oh, that's a good word, but I don't know what it means. Neither do I. 
I think it means uh, it's on the it's on the similar lines of eviscerated. I don't know what that one means. Eviscerated, d- 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 demolished. I, I think it's just cut your belly open and have your guts fly out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of words. I think it's, they all come from the tortuous medieval times. You know, where they were quite inventive with all these things. Nice. Not that I know about any of these things. Anyway, um, then I had a facial. <laughs> Diane sounds like a wonderful woman. Get this though, at the start of the massage, she went, and my eyes are closed, she went, sniff up. Excuse me? <laughs> Why are you always in these weird kind of situations? You know what it was? She'd put like a mint oil on her hands and put it underneath the uh, massage bed. The action you're doing now implies that she's going into a cow to like deliver a birth. Well, it a looked bit. like that, but she just put this really nice aroma and she went, sniff up. It's like smelling Joe Vic. You know when you put yeah. Vic, it's like smelling that. It really sort of sorted me out. It was nice, you know. Was it a good day? I loved it. Would you do it again? Oh. Would I do it again? Uh, I like I like the jacuzzi, you know. Oh yeah. Jacuzzi good. Jacuzzi's good. Right, let's go for him. Jacuzzi, brilliant. Bloody yeah, love a jacuzzi. What do you think? It's too warm. Yeah, but I went on one on a cruise in the middle of the night when no one was there on night with her actually, in the bubbles. Very good. Very Wait, sex- this, this, sensual. This. That's the most positive sexual experience I've ever had. In a jacuzzi, on, in a cruise in the middle of the night? Absolutely. Wow. H- hands down. Nothing, but I had a raging um, uh, uh, member. Oh, God. And did you do anything about it? In no, of course not. So how was it the best experience? Because it was, you know, when you get close to something and the idea of it is, is almost certainly better than the actual thing. Yeah, I still retain that excitement of of the possibility, you know. See, I don't get that. I, I get like, it. I like just yeah. It's well, like, it's like it's like getting as close as you can to yeah a Ed- KFC. Yeah, and edging then turning around. You're, you're edging you yourself to a KFC. Yeah, yeah. That's a horrible, horrible image actually. Good though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I would do it again. Uh, and it came with a, a lunch, I had a tuna crunch wrap, and a cheesecake. <laughs> hey, cheesecake. A tuna crunch. I'm not going to laugh at that, actually, because Tudor Crunch wraps are very good. Are they in a white Tudor's wrap? Tudor's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, great. Delicious, delicious. So that was my spa weekend. I would recommend it. Mm. Steam room's great. You need someone to go with her, don't you? What about that? This, this person? She's always in Spain these days. Do you know the... <laughs> Do you know the husband? Yeah. He Do was there last night. Huh? He was there last night. Do we were, what? we were. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> I will. But we were talking for four hours, trying to rewrite a line of the manifesto of the commune we're going to build in Spain. <laughs> Genuinely. You're going to build a com- commune. I'm not going to be building anything. Have you seen me? What is a con- commune? A, an artist commune in in uh, not Alicante. Put it out. What Benidorm? Valencia. Valencia. Yeah. So that's how you pronounce it, isn't it? What's that Spanish? Valencia. Can you do it, Ethan? But, but you know the the kind of you're not just Valencia. oh, like oh, Valencia. No, they say it in a in a in a Valencia. interesting. Way. Yeah, there you Valencia. go. Valencia. It's a kind of a yeah. Th- 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 yeah. All right. But she wants to make a marble pavilion, and obviously that would cost millions of pounds. But that's all. That's off the. A lot of these are ideas. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these are ideas, like well, the, she's got like some the ideas from butt plugs to, to, to pavilions and stuff. It's yeah, crazy, it's a it? wild world. I can um, link this up quite nicely if you don't mind. If you we're talking about it. artistry. Ooh, Dom got a little bit of an artist amongst us. Uh, I I, di- I know this because Ethan was talking a little bit about painting, but. Not like a normal painting in the dark. Painting p- p- pain in the dark, essentially. Ethan has been painting in the dark. I have. I have. I've been painting in the dark. Explain so. to Don because he looks so confused. Well, so me and um, Manisha decided to book um, an activity uh, because we don't do enough stuff that's different. We don't We don't grow. Well, We're very bored. Well, teach you a couple of things you can do that's different. Oh, yes, so indeed. On. And that might be experimented further down the line, but to get to that point in character, you have to develop and make baby steps. Now, you may remember my facial hair, Joe, from a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, not a while back, probably last week. And um, it did look a bit like an artiste. So with that, 
I've decided to give it a crack. And it's in a, in a dark studio using UV paints. So you're in so a, a weird, completely blacked out studio. Yep. You, you can just see paint and you're bored. Can't see a thing. Did Apart you from the lights that are UV lights. Oh, yes, sir. 30 quid. <laughs> oh, fuck me. But let me stop you there. 30 quid. <laughs> it was 30 quid. But, but what happens is you get two free drinks, a couple of pints. Couple of pints, right? And you get your canvas. Which you can't see. And the pints UV. Well, <laughs> what me? Well, oh, dying at first. It's funny you say <laughs> that. I made a right cock up with my first pint. So what you do is Guinness, you had not a fucking clue where no, that was. Well, what happened was, so I had me pale ale. So I had I had my paintbrush. And what you do is you got have a little pot of water that you dip it into. To, to reduce oh, the... Oh, no! The, no! So, so no. my pipe started glowing orange. No. And I realised that it wasn't just the pale ale of an amber, amber colour. It was... Uh, it had a bit of paint in it. Um, one sip later. What is that? this place? He dipped his brush in it. I love it. They let me off, though. The place. That's the fine. That's fine. So, I mean, it's a great business plan, isn't it? <laughs> you save on electricity. You, everyone's sat in the dark. <laughs> yeah, who came up with this? I love it. But, like, I stress, there's UV light so you can see the paint. So, what UV light does, you'll be maybe astonished to hear. Maybe you know this. Um, but the colours you see aren't always exactly the colours you think they are. Right. So, so a purple will be will be like a white in real life, okay. which we take it out of the room, and like a a, a a yellow will be a green, which was to my disappointment. I found that one out afterwards after I created the stuff. You can see my eyes have uh, switched off the screen why slightly. Why do you look so confused, Dom? It just sounds like a very confusing endeavour. And why would you pay thirty pounds to paint in a different colour than it would be when you're outside of this have weird? You, have, have you ever paid for something and you thought that that wasn't definitely not worth the money? Yeah, absolutely. Podcasts help when you give an exam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Moving on. Uh, no, that Easter egg I got the other day. What? Which one? I think I told you about it. Oh yeah. Oh, no, we've not. We've not seen that. Uh, That's going into today's episode. All right. So you bought an Easter egg. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> no, and uh, whatever. Well, well, uh, no. Uh, I bought a seven hundred pound piano once. But then the person told me it was fantastic, and I brought a friend with me who was very good at the piano. I said, is this good? He said, yes. And it turns out, when I got home, I should have just gone with my initial feeling. You should always go with your feeling, I think, like I did with biting uh, that woman who nearly said her name. Then. Uh, Let me show you. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. It's all right. So as you can see here, this is what I painted. But you actually paint? Yep, so as you can see... It's actually the, quite good. Describe it to the audio listeners, please, Joe. No, well, Dom's an artist, this bit of yourself. I ain't quite, what can you see? It's a it's a hummingbird. Oh, yes. It's gorgeous. I don't know what the f flowers are, particularly Scottish thistles. Oh, yes. A hummingbird on on thistles. Well... Exotic and the mundane. Well, I must, I must add to this, actually, Dom. Um, for this uh, wasn't my painting. This was what uh, some last done that I thought was brilliant. Some last. And I thought, I thought, who is this last? I don't know. Just some woman. I thought, oh, that could be me. Um, this is what uh, Manisha painted, which that is, is quite really lovely. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's like a, it's like a. What is it? A tulip. Oh yes, it's like a tulip. It's a lotus it? flower. Have you seen lotus Manisha's tulips. Lotus. Oh God. I haven't seen. Mani I don't think I'd want to see Manisha's tulips. Oh, that's horrible. And um, well, I'll actually. So what you. are you doing? What have you done? You've done the Newcastle flag. Well, I'm not going to put a picture on the screen because I, I brought it with me, Drew. Ooh. And you'll be delighted to see. Do, do we mean? turn the lights off? Yeah, should we turn them off? <laughs> well, you no, need, no, no, you no, need no. sadly, the uh, UV lights. What's to, the to... fucking point of this thing, then? Well, you'll see. I made a mistake with the yellow, Dom. <laughs> Because I thought it was yellow, but it's actually green. But it doesn't matter because there's no UV light here. Right, just leak here and chill, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> this, this Sorry, no, I'm so tired. It was such a long day, such a long Easter weekend. I didn't mean to say chill out. No, you were raising valid points. It's just I'm, I might be, I must be autistic. I don't understand. Dom, I have painted. <laughs> what the Joe fuck is that? Fuck it. This is Joe McGrath. Is that me? So I'll that come around, I give it to <coughs> That actually looks like me, to be fair. Does it? Yeah. Hello? Wow. 
He thought his spices to draw me. He's running back. Quickly. Oh well, I must say, I must say, I, I, I was run out of time. I panicked and I was busy making the thumbnail for Sloppy Joe's uh, before this went out, and I just thought, fucking hell, the grass on my mind. So. That is brilliant. What do you think about that, Doc? I don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. Why is his face green? Well, th that was the yellow green confusion. So you made his face yellow. Well, you see, there's already so many colours, so I thought, like, oh, Simpsons would be quite funny. <laughs> 30 quid have... for three of the primary colours. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, me. It's a bit Shrek-like, isn't it? You Excuse are a bit ogre-like. That's actually. rude. He's Am been I insulting ogre? you quite a lot today. He has been insulting me a bit, hasn't he? Mm. What do you make of that? Do I look like an ogre? In the nicest possible way. <laughs> which, which is the way you're doing it now. Yeah. Fair play. The, the mouth's good. The be Why is his hair black? Oh, again, lack of colours. What about my hairline? Did you? <laughs> no, that I aced that. Yeah, it's very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I aced that. <laughs> uh, right, have we got time? What would you want to do? Top three top or three. Ethan's? F oh. No, uh, let's do top three. I think we should do top three, definitely. Right, okay. Top three. Do you remember the top three? I do remember the top three. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yes, I do remember the top three. Are you ready to take part in? It is time for this fucking class feature. The top three. Tres, dos, uno. Two, two, one. Four, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. The top three. Right, we are back with the top three. This has been causing huge debates. We've been talking about the top three films. We've been talking about the top three locations to actually... Go to like cities. We're gonna head back to the world of food and drink okay, now. Okay, I'm good at this one. Top three fruits. This is tricky, but if you wouldn't mind, I might start us off. Is that all right? Please. Might stun you with number three, but I love a cherry. Oh. A glass A cherry or a normal cherry? Give me a normal cherry. I'll have a glass A. Cherries in at number three. Heading over to number two. What's that? A ju what? Sorry. I don't think you know. <laughs> it's like a dark it's a juicy pineapple. This is juicy pineapple. This is juicy pineapple. A pineapple's fantastic. Uh, but number yeah. one has to be the apple. Apple is the best fruit in the world. What kind oh. of apple, though? Just, I I'll take them all. Granny Smith. Granny Smiths, Pink Ladies, Waffle Waffers. Mm -hmm. I'll take them all. Humpty Dumpties. I'll have them all. Apples are very good. Are you just talking about the base fruit? Yeah, you got to talk about the base fruit. Okay. Not necessarily flavouring, although I do think I do think that maybe even... Well, I don't really like apple flavouring too much, but apple juice, I think. <laughs> you don't like apple flavour, but it's the number one fruit. <laughs> well, you don't often have apple flavouring much on things, do you? Yes. What? You do. Like a sweet? Apple what? crumble, apple sweets. A what? Apple sweets. Right, anyway, go on. What's your top three? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, being very uh, contrary today, aren't I? My top three... <laughs> Um, um, uh, um, uh, 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 tomato. Nice. Oh, fucker. Yeah. That's clever. Nice. Do you know what? I, I Real you clever. Fucker, but you fucker, but you clever for uh, Yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, uh, a good strawberry. Nice. I strawberry? Like it. Strawberry? It were, yeah, whatever you like. And, um, <laughs> what, was <that? laughs> what was that noise? I'm just trying to think of the fruit. Surely you know you're number one. I don't know my number one. There's lots of good fruits. I went to Portugal and had bizarre fruits. Where it, fruits that you don't think are imaginable. Like there was a pineapple, the one like shaped like a banana, but it had like hectagonal sections that tasted like pineapple. So what's number one? That a banana. Banana. Nice. Yeah. It's great. Ethan James, to Te wrap up the top three. Texture of the banana's fucked up. I must say. Although I do eat it anyway because I know it keeps me going. <laughs> is that three? Um, so no, so uh, number three for me is the lychee. Oh, lychee. Much say. Such a hipster choice. Oh, God, it's a good job Joe Smith's not here because it's <laughs> the too hipster choice. The fruit itself, the texture is terrible. It freaks me out. But the, in a drink, in a can, oh, that oh, juice. Right, okay. That in a number juice, two? Oh, it's one of the best. I'd say number two is actually the pineapple. Nice. Versatile, can be used in desserts, can be used as just a normal... Pineapple, if you wanted that, or on a pizza, that's controversial. Who knows about that one? Do you, like, pi do you like pineapple on a pizza? Uh, yes, do you? No, I'm not. I d I, yeah, but I'm, all right. I'm not like a, against it, I just don't like pineapple on a pizza. I'm against like pizza, pizza at the moment, I don't like pizza. Number one is the raspberry. Raspberry? 
Class the raspberry. Is it really? It's the raspberry. Is it mad that none of us have picked an orange? Like, you would think that was probably... No, it's too, an orange is too fucking difficult to go about. Yeah, it is. That's true. But the easy peelers are great. That could have got in there. The but do you like the peelers. pith? It's always the pith, the, the white pith. The pith is horrible. We've brought up pith twice in I this episode. I hate I've got a real vendetta against pith. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much, Dom. You're going to be here for the next couple of weeks. Is that all right? Yeah, if, yeah. If I don't, yeah, if the comments are all right. Otherwise, you won't be seeing <laughs> me ever again. The comments, comments will be fine. No one ever comments anything nasty. It's great. We are never <laughs> no, have, no, we no never one. have crisis meetings about comments. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, right, here's a lovely little section with the beautiful Joe Smith. So Jesus technically has returned, <laughs> and <laughs> it is <laughs> our final um, moment in a month that we'll be together in a room. Best way you could have possibly said that, Lord. Uh, as you go gallivanting around uh, Thailand and Vietnam. Yes. So this is it, Ethan James. Oh yeah. Hello, everyone. Don't be so sad. Is this going to be? Is this going to be? This going to be emotional episode. It might be emotional actually. We yeah. should do an emotional episode now and again. It's all fun and games, isn't it? Really. That's what I said. Yeah. What would you like to do, Ethan? Emotional. Life? Well, I suggested the sad stories around Christmas time, like of that poorly child who yeah. died in Santa's arms. But then it. It just didn't hit the right note. Yeah, sad no. story. Yeah, I don't no, it think so. Bad, I don't it? think so. I think we sort of peaked um, in terms of our lack of taste uh, with the top three diseases that we did for the Patreons. Yeah. Oh, um, God. And Ethan remarked on that last night about how he sort of looks back as that as a, a kind of a, a black spot on our record. I don't want to ruin it for so you, but it is great. A low point. Com. Yeah. Uh, it's a Sloppy Joe's podcast. Yeah, do subscribe to the Patreons. There's loads of good stuff coming. And also, as soon as I get back from my travels, we're going to do the final episode of Come Down With Me. Are you excited? I can't wait. I've had to run here from the station because I was a little bit late. And that's You've got my your fault. rabies jab. No, I, I've done one. <clears throat> Why? I haven't done one. Because, well, I've looked into it. So You've looked into rabies? Well, no, I don't look into rabies. Do you know how bad it is? No. Do you know, right, so let's say when you get COVID, and if, unless you're not a conspiracy theorist, let's just say, yeah, as a rough COVID. guide, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like a 1% chance you'll die. Let's just use yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if that's yeah. even right. So one in 100 people get it, they die. But COVID killed loads of people. The whole world was shut down for it, wasn't it? What do you think the death rate is for people? So once you've got COVID, symptoms appear. What do you think the death rate is? One in, one in 50. One in 50. Ethan? Uh, of rabies or COVID? Rabies. Well, um, you just give me the answer to COVID. Yeah. Uh, You're too bothered eating your Caribbean I'm not, food I'm to not. pay attention to us. Okay. He's got Caribbean food again. He didn't ask us if we wanted some. I'll put it away. Lift okay. It. No, so, you know, you've not put it away. It's out of reach. Just because you move your chair back doesn't... Right, you do me. right, so what do you think the death rate of rabies is? Once you've, you've, you've been bitten by a monkey or whatever, oh, I feel a bit rabish. You're going to die. Guaranteed. He's 100% right. It is, it what? Has, it you has get got, rabies, you're dead. It has got a 100% death rate. What? It's one of the deadliest diseases on earth. It's yeah. awful. You it's just terrible. keep drinking water non-stop, don't no, you? Drown the, yourself. It's the exact opposite of that. You actually get hydrophobic and you can't drink water. You're ah, scared yes. of water? Yeah. Yeah, I don't get, I don't get it. So if you get rabies, you're done. So if you get bitten, let's say uh, there's a rabid dog on the beach, I go to stroke it, oh, it bites my hand. If I go, that dog didn't look right, and I've just broken the skin. I can get a boat, you know, or go to the local hospital. They'll give me a, a rabies jab that will stop it developing into rabies. They can save your life, right? Sorry, well, but if I go, ah, it'll be right. That the dog didn't look, you know, it was only foaming at the mouth a little bit. Once you've got the symptoms. There's a bit, when you Google all the, all the illnesses, so there's like typhoid, there's all different things you can yeah. get jabs for. Um, and all of them will say, get to this in this minute, they'll give you antibiotics, they'll give you this, this and this, we can do this, you know. The, the, it says treatment for rabies at the bottom, make the patient feel as comfortable as possible. Oh. That is all they can do. <laughs> How bad How is that? How long will you die? How long will it take to I think you? it takes a, a, about a week, a few days. A week? Yeah, not long. But so the bad. thing is, so the reason I haven't got a rabies jab is, the, the chances of you getting it go up massively if you're going on like long hikes in the woods, yeah. if you're going like out in the wilderness, we're not really doing that. So if I get bitten by so someone- You're playing with fire a little bit. Well, no, because it's, it's only a sort of, it's not even, it's recommended, but it's also not, it's like- some How much it, is it? Don't. It's also like 50 quid. I thought you- I thought you were going to say something much higher. I think there. it might be a bit more. But anyway, quid. the thing is, if I get bit by a dog or a snake or a bat or a monkey, I'll just go to the local hospital and get a rabies oh, shot. So they'll sort it for you. Yeah. Yeah, they must be knocking As long as you get there within it. like 10 hours or something, you're fine. You've just made that up. You're usually fine. 10 hours? Yeah. Something like that. You get a number of hours. Anyway, how are you? Uh, I'm good. We went out for a uh, final meal, didn't we, Ethan? It was sad, wasn't it, last night? Last final meal. It yeah. was a delicious Chinese. It was a lovely Chinese, wasn't it? it, it the uh, the artist formerly known as Jade City. Yeah. 
Now it's uh, Yazoo. Only no, it's you. Boom, boom, boom. It's, it's called Only You, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, kept singing, I kept singing Only You last night to myself because it was stuck in my head. It's Only You spelt Y-U. Yes. Now, you see this a lot, don't you? There is a sort of a trend within the sort of English... Asian restaurants yeah. that have a word that at first glance is just a Chinese word, yeah. but when read out loud sounds in English. Yeah. <laughs> For instance, folk you. Folk you. Which folk obviously you at first know. glance you go, oh, yeah, that sounds, you know, Vietnamese, like, I don't really, you know, maybe that's someone's name. And then you read it out loud, fuck you, basically, isn't it? And, that, and, then, and that's obviously on purpose. Yeah. Only you, of course. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I love that da, 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 so much. Da, da. So talk us through how you think the night went, Ethan, because I think it was a great success. Oh, yes. A succulent Chinese meal, wasn't it? <laughs> Is that the charge? Oh, yes, that's the charge. And, um, well, what happened was we we finished doing a bit of recording, didn't we? Yeah. And we're, and we're potting down, and we, we, we were stunned what the place was at first. It didn't look quite right. And up the oh. stairs, filled with people, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, actually. Yeah, filled, filled, and filled with good people as well. What? What filled with like you want to see a busy restaurant like that yeah. with people who love that kind of food because you know then you're in the right place. Right. What do you mean? I can't can't elaborate, but everyone knows. <laughs> you know, filled with good people. As filled well. with great people. You go. We've picked the spot. People who settle down. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So do you when know you, know you go, in, when you you know go I mean? in, do you know what I mean, Ethan? The f oh yes. The oh, first yes. thing you're you, all coming down with me. If the I'm first off for that. thing you also can I actually. Can we get into that a little bit? What? Because people always say, don't they? And this is a thing that people say, whether it's, I don't know if it is, I don't think it's racist. People will go into, let's say, a Chinese restaurant and go, oh, when I got there, there was a lot of Asian people in there, so it must be good. Or you'll see that with different cuisines around the world, you know, the the Muppet, the, 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 the puppets from the Dormio advert were in there. It must yeah, be good yeah. Italian. Well, let's just say this. You know if I mean? you're walking past an Irish bar and it's filled with Irish yes, people exactly. in another the, country, yeah, it's like, not a, this must be good. Exactly. So that's the assumption, isn't it? That da, da, da. Yeah, but yeah. when you but then if you think about it. Yeah, yeah. But when you think about it though, like the most the biggest restaurants in the UK aren't like the best quality. So it's like, ah. Oh, you know, Mackey's full of English people. Bellissima. You think it's it's not the best restaurant in the UK. Yeah, but it's we're the most not popular. really known for our great taste in food as Brits. Oh. So when I got there and saw if it was filled, I was like, this is What about Ethan's mate who on. is only in mints and dumplings yeah, and yeah, yeah. You're telling See me that's what not, I mean? You're telling me that's not up there with a band me in terms of complexity. I don't think there's many uh, people, you know, from Asia who've only had twelve different ingredients in their life. That's probably quite true, actually. But, okay, uh, so maybe for, for the English so if you go in to like, oh look at that, you, I'm in Thailand next week, for instance, yeah. and I see a pub called the Ye Old Coach and Horses. Nice. And it's full of English people, I go probably the shittest food in, no, you in, don't. in all of Thailand. You don't. No, what? you think if you're in the foreign country, that's the perfect spot. Oh, so then you, so it ha so it's all to do with people being in a restaurant that's from the country that they're from, but they're not the country that they're in. Yes, I right. think yeah. that's the dichotomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, that is it. it. And okay. it doesn't matter what race you are. No, I It's know. like if a, there was a fish and chip restaurant in Singapore yeah. and it was full of Brits, yeah. Yeah. you'd go there. That's a good point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We were playing with fire a little bit because we couldn't see the entrance of Only You. So this is a thing, isn't it? Where I've had this a few times with, in, in sort of, again, like Western restaurants, there's a big thing of the first eight customers, you basically line in the windows of the restaurant. Oh, of course, you? yeah, making it look busy. To make it look busy, even if the center and the back of the restaurant is empty. Whereas with a lot of other different cultures, Sometimes the restaurant will, won't even be inside of the street. Like almost all the restaurants in Chinatown are either in a basement or on the first yeah, floor. Yeah, it's very difficult to see what's so going on. So you can't on. really get the same thing. But we go in, you're immediately greeted with a gigantic fish tank, probably as long as this table, I'd have thought, yeah. maybe, even, maybe even longer. Big, deep, big fish tank. Four fish in it. Four fish, nothing else going nothing on. Nothing else. Not a, not a bit of coral at the bottom. No, 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 no. Not a little sort of like rainbow that's in the corner. Oh, yeah. Nothing. No like fake leaves. It's just four fish and you can even see the dirt on the bottom half oh, of the thing. It was no sad. gravel or anything. One massive mean, fish yeah, and then gravel. about three fish this big. They don't really like gravel though, do they fish? I don't know. No. Uh, we sat down, we got given the menu. Yeah. Um, and we all went straight for the... Uh, <laughs> The banquet for four. Didn't we? I didn't even. I didn't even turn the page. No, you didn't. I, you only, did. I, I opened the first page and went banquet. Yeah, but your mate Adam doesn't like prawns. But yeah, yeah. everything we got for the starter had prawns in it. <laughs> yeah, it could have said. Dishes, aren't there? What do we make of hot and sour soup? I love it because <clears> it, it was it was an interesting flavour, wasn't it, Ethan? Have you not had it before? No, I, I've had it. It's peppery and vinegary, isn't it? Yeah, gloopy as well. It's delicious. Very gloopy. 
Oh, you well, had the chicken, didn't you? It was now when the chicken and sweet corn soup because the, th- the thing with that is just just how thick it is. Oof, that's just that's it's, you wolfed your soup down, didn't you? When you think about it, I just I just love the thickness of it. Yeah, it's been heavily corn starched, doesn't it? It's got that real gloopiness to it. Oh yeah, which I do like. It's this this sort of texture where if they put even another half a teaspoon of cornstarch in it, you could suck the whole thing sort of without using a straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could, oh. And it would all sort of jelly its way into the last bit and get sort of sucked along with it. You could just go, <laughs> like flubber. You could spread it as well on toast. Yeah, you could spread it on toast. <laughs> you could roll it into a ball if yeah, it was any yeah, thicker, yeah. couldn't you? But that was delicious. I tell you what. The dim sum was great, but then. <laughs> dim mean, sum oh, and then oh, some. Oh, you know what I mean? So, uh, oh, I got okay, so excited. It was so good. We were sort of full by the dim sum and then the yeah. duck came. Yeah. <gasps> Ethan. Shredded on site as well. On oh site. no! Like someone trying to uh, escape from North Korea to South Korea. He got it wrong though. Instantly obliterated on site, wasn't it? Yeah. Who got it wrong? Well, it, it went all, it wrong. He, he did it on the table by. I didn't say this, but you spilled half of it on the table and picked it all back up and put it back on. I don't, oh, you know what? I don't, yeah, mind, I, don't mind, I, don't I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind it fresh in it fresh. Uh, uh, but at the end of the duck pancakes, we were done. Yeah. We could have easily gone home. Yes. I would have loved maybe. One scoop of vanilla ice cream, then bed. I could have taken a banana or pineapple fritter. Yeah, and then bed. And then bed. What came after that was plates this probably this big, filled one with uh, chicken and black bean. Yeah. One with beef in uh, oyster sauce. Yeah. One with I, I don't know what it was. Like sort of like chili and like garlic a, a, sauce. A, 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 yeah. It was yeah. crispy. A crispy pork, and uh, a ch- crispy chili beef. <laughs> And a big bowl of rice each. Yeah, that was a killer. When I knew that every single one of us had a big bowl of egg fried rice, I thought, we're going to struggle. We're finished. We're done. And then I I just went into another realm. Needless to say, I don't know about you, Joe, last night. I was thirsty. Yeah. I was, do you know what? I was in trouble a bit last night. Yeah, there was one point that I I just didn't really sleep well last night. Do you know what I mean about that? Do you know when you're so full you don't really sleep too good? Yeah. It was bad. This is just a big, salty night. I um, had vicious diarrhea when I got home. Really vicious, wow. Terrible. But I don't think it was from that because I, it's usually a sort of a four or five hour delay, yeah, wasn't it? And yeah. this was about two hours post consumption. What did you have for lunch that day? Uh, couldn't say. You couldn't? <laughs> I've got no idea what I ate for lunch yesterday. Do you? I had, yeah, I had, uh, I had broccoli steaks. I'm into my broccoli steaks <laughs> at the minute, aren't I? Well, you put broccoli up like a steak and you, yeah. you eat it like a steak. Ethan knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you're right. Like, so like, what do you do with it, though? Eat it like a steak. Well, you cook it up, fry it. <laughs> bit of chilli, bit of garlic, bit of butter. Lots of butter. Cook it up, crack on, delicious. So it's just... V- In a pan. But, so what do you have that with, then? Uh, do, do, have you heard of a, a cucumber smash ma- salad? Oh, what? Yeah. Ooh, have you? Yeah, I have. Cucumber smash out. smash salad. Uh, picture this, cucumbers chopped up finely. Bit of red wine vinegar. A little bit of chili oil, let that rest. Put it on top of your steak, rocket steak. Delicious. Scran it. So you're for lunch, you you're telling me you had broccoli and cucumber. Yeah. And nothing else. I swear to God. That's all you had. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I eat healthy at home. You've seen yeah, my but fridge. You've seen my yeah, but, fridge. Yes, but there's eating healthy, and then there's eating what a Galapagos turtle eats for lunch. There's, like most people who are healthy Get don't just eat too. a broccoli with a cucumber. That's what a chimp would eat at a zoo, isn't it? Where, the, like what a, are you talking about? I, it, you would have I, some, I, usually some sort of protein or some sort of carb, not just veg. Yeah, well, you, don't, you don't need that every meal. If no, you're just having a bit of a light lunch. Hold on, I can't it. do right for doing wrong. I've come on the pod, I've had cucumber and broccoli, and now you yeah. want to eat more. What, what direction right. do you want this podcast to go in? Be honest, how many different... Do you want to be honest? I had a cream egg for dessert. There we go. (laughs) Granny Una gave me some on the weekend. I watched City Newcastle with her. She left me, let me go on with four crunchies and two cream eggs. All right, Ethan, did you feel all right last night after the the Chinese? Oh, I did actually, yes. I Um, I did eat an awful lot, though. Um, At the end, I just kept going back for one last bit of chilli beef uh, when I shouldn't have done. But what um, what did happen during the chili beef phase? Joe found what you would call a what would you call it, Joe? Yeah. An effect. There was a, a very st- there was a very strange thing that happened. I would call it a phenomenon, actually. Phenomenon. That's the word. Where we were put in a table that, at first glance, 
Love it. Well, great. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. In the corner, in the it's corner. in the corner, which means we've got line of sight on everything yeah, going yeah. on. The happy birthday being sang across the way. Yeah. The, hmm. you know, the other, hmm. everyone else, the little fish. We can see the edge of the fish tank yeah, if yeah, we look yeah. close enough. But what also happened, I went to the toilet and it's sort of open plan. It's like mezzanine style, isn't yeah. it? So like you don't go into like a, a sort of stairwell. The stair is like up through the middle of the restaurant and sort of back on itself. But what if the effect happened is that because we were at the bottom of that, the open bit, when you go upstairs where there's some extra tables that weren't being used and then to the back is the toilets, every square inch of the upstairs area, you could hear crystal clear the conversation taking place on our table yeah, and nothing else. No other tables, you couldn't hear the music. You couldn't hear anything. From our table, it's like bustling, everyone's chatting. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you go upstairs and it sounds like it's downstairs is three people shouting. Yeah, you were and so just fascinated our table. you sent me and Ethan up to check Yeah, because I went for a week, so you go up the stairs and back. So we're here and then you go upstairs and back to the other side of the restaurant where the toilet is. From weeing in another room, probably 25 feet away, maybe, maybe a bit more, I could hear your Adam and Ethan's conversation yeah, like fine. that. That is a bizarre what, design feature. I don't know what feature. was happening. I don't know either. Do you think they were spying on us? <laughs> That's what you're, you're, you were hearing our conversations. I don't think they were spying on us, but I think if they wanted to, they obviously could. That's yeah. the table where you put the people who maybe you think these might be kick twats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah, might, yeah, these yeah, might yeah, kick yeah, off. They saw, they saw Ethan. They saw Ethan. They, they thought, heard this Geordie accent and thought, if anyone's going to kick off, put them on the put them on the table where you can basically the surveillance table yeah the you surveillance table Ethan it was unbelievable oh, yeah. that wasn't it North. it was weird because when we put the um the the hypotheses to the test we we started talking just even quieter than we were normally talking yeah and it was still staggering the 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 effect in full swig it was wasn't it oh you yeah you started asking about you were, you've been worrying, wondering about evolution a lot recently yeah you? I just wondered when when was everything as it is do you know what i mean like i i was just i was getting we were, we were eating beef weren't we we were eating a bit of the skirt uh which is what, a part what, of the what, uh, what made you go bit of the skirt because it's the, the chop of the beef in it bit of skirt and i was just wondering when was chop. the cow when was the cow the cow you know what i mean yeah. like when has the cow as we've known it been the cow yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, has yeah. it two thousand years ago was there the cow? Well, what was your guess? And how long cows? I went existed? about four hundred years. They you were complete. You said, <laughs> you said hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, which really made me laugh. I think they were complete about hundred years ago, two through four hundred years ago. Yeah, they were complete. What do you mean they're complete? Well, because they've not. Have they changed recently? Well, in what in what time frame? What do you mean? What are you saying? Since since what the turn of the year? Have we got a cow with? with two or two sets of orders or something. What are you asking? When was the last, all right, how far back could you go when you'd see a significant difference to the cow we see now? Yeah. And a cow back when? I would guess, based on the sort of how far farming has come and like genetic modification yeah. and like selective breeding, I would say if you go back 200 years, cows would be a lot different to what they are now. Really? Not, in, not like genetically, but in terms of like, they won't have as much meat on them. They won't produce nearly as much milk. Yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Have yeah, you ever yeah, seen yeah, those yeah. pictures of like corn in the 1860s? And it's basically just one bit of corn that's what? this big and it's fucking rock hard and humans can't even eat it. Have you never seen that? Ah, so how did they know what to do with it? I don't really know. I don't know. I, I don't know how they get into all that. Let me show you this. Ethan, how, how far ago do you think we have to go back to get the, the cow? I was going to say earlier than Joe. I think in the last 50 years, it's it's been quite different because the cow has been 50 made year, 50 years so I think he thinks Ronald McDonald had a since big hand since the in this. 70s I, I think since this, the 70s or whatever when we started the population started growing even more since then we've had to get the cows through so quickly so what do you think a, a cow used to look like what do you think well they, they'd probably eat better they'd probably have more space and those environmental circumstances, nice. mal malnutrition, yeah. um, stuffing up the cow with loads of <laughs> cheap rubbish is probably... Well, that's, what, that's where you, when you've like, you use a cow as a, basically as a recycling bin, don't you? <laughs> so you, rubbish, you just lift its tail and you put, you know, yeah, yeah. Heinz beans. Make sure you put it in the moo bin. Yeah, you John Wiss in the moo, in the moo bin. Come on. That's really good. That's Come on, that's the blue really bin. Really you said a blue bin. Uh, what about the horse though? Because I think that is. That be say fifty years. That's crazy. If you go on a booking bronco from the nineteen seventies, it's it's only this wide. See, I think I think the horses were peaked and now they're on the decline. What do you mean? So it's like cows are getting better. 
Yeah. After 1066 or whatever, we didn't need them as much, did we? So they're getting significantly worse. You know that we were using worse. horses in World War One. Right, and after, after the... What, not like, not, not extensively, but they were but last in hundred use. years. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just ride them now or, or race them. Yeah, they've gone... They've certainly lost a bit of their sort of punch, haven't they, the horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man with the horse was the king. And now, if you've got a horse, it's... You're rich. Something bad's going on. Isn't really? it? Or you're rich. So this is 9,000 years ago. So back when we first started farming, that's what corn used to look like on the left there. Madness. Really? Look how shit that is. That's crazy. Not plump and juicy, that is it? No, no, I won't want to pop it. Just a little string of shit. Um, but in terms of genetics, it takes thousands and hundreds of thousands, hundreds of years, thousands of years. Well, I had a lovely night. I had a Do you know what? Night. We should try and do it once every, you know. Once a quarter. Month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little celebration. Who would you bring? Because obviously uh, Joe brought his mate. Who would you bring to the next one, Ethan? Oh, I'll bring, I'll bring Wobble along. No, he can't have two free meals from you. Females? No, free meals. Oh, sorry. Well, who's the first who's female? Who's the first, yeah, what's going on here? You? Sorry, I was going to say, Wob, Wob's not a woman. Um... But yes, uh, who, what what free meal would we go for? Is that what you're saying? No, he's All suggesting right. that because you've already bought Wob a free meal, mm. that you wouldn't be keen to buy him a second. So maybe ah, to give someone else a free meal. Yes, that's why he said he can't have two free meals from you. And you said females. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I'll bring uh, Matt along then. Lovely. Not Alan. I was I was edging. We, we, we oh, him. Right, I, well, I don't want Alan. I want Alan's sixty-five-year-old mate. Oh, and we're going to take him out for the first curry of his life. And watch Derek him and Phil shit his pants. Could at the we table. take Derek to yeah get some fucking mad food? Can we take, that would be great. Yeah, if we take Derek to the curry mat, what do you think would happen? A panic attack. Really? Honestly, yeah. Well, you had, you had the same thing with the the peppered steak bake, didn't he? So <laughs> what's up with you? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, a bit emotional remembering it. Yeah, yeah. Oof. You had a pepper steak bacon and a panic attack. Like we don't bake. like pepper something that is no. sort of alien to him. They've been having a pepper, pepper in England. Steak for, big. Well, I don't know. Ages. Ages and ages. Uh, should we move on to the final uh, one out of ten club? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on here, Joe? Right. What's happening with you? So we've had a bit of a disaster here. This is the first time a disaster. A disaster has struck. We're very tight for time because obviously I'm going away. We're stacking Flying episodes soon. like you wouldn't believe. Well, you're listening to this. You will be in Thailand, will you? No. What day is this coming out? Friday. Um, Not, yeah. If it comes out this Friday, know. which it could do actually. Oh shit! It's no, not this Friday. Week, week Friday, Friday after. Okay. So I'll you're be, already I'll, there. I'll be, I'll be in Vietnam. Wow. I'll have sort of bounced off Thailand, used it as a skipping stone into Vietnam, and then we'll be back in wow. Thailand later. Don't you worry about that, big boy. So, I was inspired last night from our meal, which was lovely, but it reminded me of something that I just think is shit. So I ordered it on delivery just now. Yeah. And I've missed the guy. So no, that doesn't happen. It's not like well, it's not like DPD. You, you've him. got to find. He's the guy. put it. I think he's put it in the blue bin. Where in the is next door. where is the guy? It just says it's been delivered, and I can't contact anyone except I was stood outside when he was ringing me. I opened it. He, I couldn't hear him. It was just fuzzy, and then he's nowhere to be he's seen. He's gone missing. Though. But because he's he's tracked it as delivered, I can't track him anymore. Got I can't track him down. Anyway, but this is a food we all know, and I would go as far as to say as. It's the worst component of every meal that it's in. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing to the one out of ten club, rice. Oh, fuck off. Right, no, you got to get gotta rice go. Rice is... What rice? Shit. What? What rice? Okay, I brought in boiled white rice. Do you just buy boiled white rice from someone? From a restaurant. Oh, well, no wonder he fucked up. Yeah, well, he didn't know what was in it, did he? He didn't make it. Of course it. he does. He say, it says on the side, boiled well, white rice. Well, he better rice. not be, ba be reading that, because that's private. I tell you this, rice, yeah. for me, phenomenal. No, it's it not. Is, you it know is, it's not. It's, it's only better good. for me than pasta. Fuck off. It really is. Especially if it's cooked well. Well, like pasta's The rice you're one. eating there, biryani, unbelievable. Oh, no, yeah. but that's not rice. The thing you like about biryani isn't rice. It is. It is. Yes, it is. It, 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 is, <laughs> it, is it is cumin, curry powder, fried onions, vegetables, chicken, lamb mince. That's what you no, like about but biryani. It's still That's rice. The, no, it's not. Rice itself. Shit. Uh, so, so I mean, we could go down the route of if I just brought in a plain white piece of bread. Yeah, but no one's having that as uh, just by itself, are they? You, yeah, you're doctoring it up. Whereas rice is brought to you by itself all the time. It was, no one, no, you no put one sauce on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, and the sauce is great. Yeah, well, like no you one, put butter on but bread. When you, yes, but if, it, if when they come together, a biryani, I'm not talking about a biryani. 
if you said to me, oh, I'm going to go to an Italian tonight and I'll just get, you know, I'll get the, 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 the meatballs and then just a side of plain pasta, please. No one does that. They have the grace of stirring <laughs> it together because that right. way they admit pasta shit. All it is is a, a vehicle for sauce. White boiled rice is shit. a bit crazy. No, no, shit it is a bit like, oh, it's a bit mad. Well, you can't tell me rice is bad. It is. Ethan, is rice bad? When I go to an Indian... Great, love this. Go on, Ethan. Hit me. I order my curry of choice mm-hmm. and a Peshwari naan. And oh. I eat the curry with, with the, the Peshwari naan. naan. I do the same uh, thing. I do the same your thing. Honor, your Honour, Your Honour. Your Honour, Your Honour. So, I'd so like to wait. call up Ethan so, so from we'll... one podcast ago where he said he went to a curry house and ordered lamb chops and rice. No, Your went, Honor, send the liar down. You're a disgrace. I went to a Turkish grill. No, no you didn't. I you, did. No, you didn't. I did. What was it called? Istanbul. Oh, he's done you there. Ah, I thought famous, my name in the capital famous. of Istanbul, in the Turkey. <laughs> it's, Fuck off. You're a liar. You're a liar. It's not the capital of Turkey. No, no. It's Ankara the largest is. city. I made a mistake. It's the largest city in, in Turkey. I That's apologize. Okay. You named somewhere in it Turkey. You're lying. You went to a curry house and you ordered no, rice. No, it, it's an Italian Turkish place. Oh, he's making stuff it's up. It's called Istanbul, though. He's making it's, stuff it, up. It's called Istanbul. It's now an Italian Turkish place. Yeah, that don't make You're sense. You're lying, do, Ethan. They do, they do pizza, pasta, and Turkish food. So for a start, I had a cheesy garlic bread, and then me and course, I had lamb chops and rice. <laughs> you suck. What the shit? You so, what are you eating right now? Chicken and rice. Right. Oh, you ate rice, you. And you had rice for dinner last night. Yeah, you had rice for dinner last night. So most of your meals are rice. No, not most of my meals are rice. Right, well, just out of a weird thing. Hang like on, the hang free, on. Three right. meal, meals I know you've had recently. Lamb chops and rice, uh, Chinese food and rice, and now you're having chicken and rice. The thing I said- wonder where I'm getting this conclusion from, that you eat a lot of rice. But it's nice with the other stuff mixed in. Yes. It is. But the thing, I, I, I often with rice, sometimes it's the best option to go with something else. But I think most of the time there's something better. A bread, a sort of a, a batter, some sort of potato, something like that does a better job of, of taking the original flavoured food into the mouth. Do you know what I mean? I do like, I, I do think some rice dishes are nice. What, sushi? But I think rice itself is hugely overrated. I like sushi. I know it's very rice and fish, but I just think that you, you end up often with a bowl of rice. And I think it's not pulling its weight here. And it's not cheap So what anymore. are we putting into the one out of the 10 club here? The I- Boiled rice. The idea that rice <laughs> concept is probably, and I'm gonna do one of my big claims. <laughs> I'm gonna make a claim right now. <laughs> and you're gonna love this, Joe. Rice, I believe, is the single most eaten food on earth. Right. Yeah, probably, yeah. Probably is. It could not deserve that mantle any less. That's my point here. And I think, like we said, one out of 10 isn't food where you go, oh, that's disgusting, because rice is pleasant, it's fine, it's nothing. But it's underwhelming food that doesn't deserve the ranking it's got. Ooh. It's the most eaten food on earth, Ooh. certainly grain for grain, it's no question. But I even think pound for pound, it's probably the most eaten food on earth. No chance should it be. Ethan? You might have a point. <laughs> Uh, oh, if you, you, he might have a what, point. He doesn't have a point. It's not worthy of being the most. Oh, this isn't. Is it worthy, club? <laughs> this is. Is it shit, club? He, he just twisted the argument. He's just twisted it, and he went. Do you know what? It's not worthy of it. I'm not here arguing. He's not. I'm here saying it's not that bad. Is it worthy? You got him then. I got him. You had what? him for a foot. You had him over the I've table. I got him now. I've still, I've still got him. The most worthy food. Mm-hmm. What would that be? You'd probably go bread. I've got a link for lemon curd at the minute. <laughs> right, I'm going. Right, I'll go. Ethan lemon claims curd. that lemon curd should be the most eaten food on earth, yeah. which is pound for pound the best food on earth. An incredible thing to say. Right, I'm putting rice in the one out of ten club it's by itself. Me. It's not for me. What about pilau? Basmati. Basmati's got some about it because it's got a little flavour there, but not really. Nuts is probably worthy. Hmm. Ethan, what are you saying? Are you voting in the one out of ten club? 
It's not what I would say, is it? Oh, say. It's not what, what I would say. Right. Adam, I'm a big bowl of rice right now. Okay. Uh, Joe, enjoy your time in Thailand Thank Vietnam, so where they much. famously don't like rice as well. So I don't know <laughs> what you're going to eat over there, uh, but you'll find yourself something over there. I do like rice, but I just think it's, it's, it couldn't be more overrated. People so talk about it like it's the biggest knees. Yeah, he's right. I don't know what he's talking about. Right, see you later, Joe. Have a lovely time. Thank you so much. I'll see you. See you soon, see everyone. See you in about five weeks. Hope you uh, do the podcast proud while I'm gone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Wave, Ethan. Uh, ta -ra. Wave uh, goodbye to me as well. Stick around whilst we struggle for the next few weeks. No. <laughs> <Good> nonsense. <laughs>